I am here with the Latina, Miss Jenny herself. Welcome to Fame Expo 2016. Hi, thank you for having me. We're so glad to see you. Where have you been hiding, girl? What's it going on? Like, it was like super last minute that we decided to come, you know, life with the baby. I had a baby about a month and a week ago. Wait a minute. This is news to a lot of people who are watching. You had a baby. I know you have a huge following. Who, what about, what are your numbers right now? I believe it's a little over 700,000. 700,000. Yeah, that's doing pretty darn good. Your followers are extremely, extremely into seeing what you're doing and seeing your makeup and everything you're doing in your life, but they didn't know about your pregnancy? No, they didn't know for like three months, but I got very, very sick. It was like the first four months, so I couldn't work, so people were going to wonder where I was, so I just thought it was, it was, you know, only right for me to tell everybody that. I'm obviously pregnant. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. And so I know you were sick, but I'm so glad to see you're healthy. Everything ended up turning out fine. How's yeah. the baby? How's everything? He's very, very big. He's actually measuring about 23 inches. Um, and he's just big. The doctor told us that, like, he, I think he, like, he landed in, like, the 99 percentile about of, like, the longest babies that there are. Wow, that's a one big baby girl. And you're a little girl. I mean, yeah, woman. No. And, and actually, my belly was very small, so he was a big baby. I didn't oh, know that wow. he was going to be that big. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm so glad that you have a healthy, big baby and that you are a small little baby now. Look at how cute you are. You went, little, you went right back into shape, girl. Yeah, I used to weight train before I got pregnant, so I think it just kind of like molded my body into that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about makeup really quick. People love your makeup. They love seeing, especially you have a huge Latina fat following as well. What is some of the things that you, uh, you, you, you see going forward in some of your Instagram pictures that you want to share with your followers? Um, well, as of right now, I'm still kind of like deciding on whether to put out a big portion of my life out in public but I just kind of have a little issue with that because you know with be this intrusive career, yeah with this career path um, you're gonna deal with a lot of negativity and you're exposed to that every single day so it's just kind of like just dealing with it kind of thing so just makeup everyday life vlogs you know behind the scenes kind of like what I do with my purse company because I do have a purse company it's oh, called Lipsy purse, purse yes I do. talk about your purse company so we pretty much resell um, purses and they're inexpensive luxury. So it looks like it's a high end purse when in reality it's, you know, very affordable for everybody who, you know. Wow, that is awesome. The life of an influencer is that of a life of a celebrity. And along with that comes sometimes negative press, negative attention. And so it's nice that you touch base that it's, it's kind of, you're trying to figure out how to balance personal life and professional life. Yes, and it's, it gets very, very difficult. You know, behind closed doors, it's not what social media seems to be. So it's just something you have to deal with yourself and just grow as a person. It's mm -hmm. interesting you speak about that because we really want to speak about the influencers and their life and how they are affected by it all. A positive note is you're back and you're at Fame Expo. And I want to know if you're feeling good and welcomed at Fame Expo this year. I am. It's a little hectic, but I'm very thankful to be where I am today and super excited to share this with Fame Expo 2016.